Today, we're going to export a game from Godot 4.4 to the Ar Arbernic RG35XXH. I'm running MuOS, and I'm going to be using some things from Portmaster. All of this guide um, is below this video, or in a link below the video. I wanted to do a quick shout out to a couple of um, Discord people. So in Godot, as well as Portmaster, we have um, Pyro and Binary Counter who have helped tremendously in figuring out all of this. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to them and say thank you so much. And also to Lars. Lars was helpful. Um, gave some good pointers. He was the one who introduced me to this guy, actually. Uh, and I didn't even know it. Okay, so let's go into the details here. Um, today we're going to go into changing the settings a little bit in the game. Um, and then exporting the game in a certain way, then we'll create the sh launcher, and then we're going to copy everything into the SD card and run the game on the um, RG35XXH. This is the game. So when it starts, it's going to look like this. This is how it plays. to avoid the, uh, the creeps. That's how the game works. So we're going to go into projects. We're going to go into export. Um, you're going to say add Linux, and then you have the Linux thing. Um, let's go back to the guide here, making sure that we're following this. Oh, we need to make sure we change the screen size. For those who already know how to make games on here, this isn't necessary. All right, so I'm jumping to this one right here. Go go to the project export we did that we're exporting to Linux x11 um, in the export options we're going to make sure that in it's uncheck embed PCK the architecture is arm 64 and enable etc2 so that's this was unchecked arm 64 check uh, we want this one right here, make sure that that's checked, and then we go to export. Um, in And then we want to export the PCK file only. So that's down here, go.project PCK, that one. And then we're going to name this Dodge the Creeps and version 8 at this point. Okay, save. We're done with that section. Step two is create a folder. So let's go into folders. All right, <clears throat> this isn't where you need it. Like you can save the folder wherever, but I'm put creating the folder in here. It's gonna be called Dodge the Creeps. And we're gonna drop this into there. We have that in there. Now, and we've created the folder, check. All right. And in the folder, we're gonna need this, uh, the controller map, that's what's next. Write the controller mapping file. So this file tells Portmaster how to map devices and buttons to the keyboard inputs created. So um, to create this, uh, I'm using this thing called code uh, it's a Microsoft thing, and if you're into coding, and I don't know where else to, I, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. But anyway, this is this is it. You file new. I'm gonna write John J. Creeps GPT um, dot GPTK. Okay, enter, and it's gonna ask where to save it, and we're gonna save it in that folder we created. There we go. And then you basically just, for this game, I can just grab this information here, copy and paste it in there. Basically it says, on the controller, A means space, B means escape, X means shift, and Y means tab. So that's, and then start is enter, select is escape, up, down, left, right, is W, S, A, D. And that worked for me, so that you may have to, for your game, it might be different. And if you're a gamer, you would know 
you would know what to do. I mean, a game developer, you would know what to do about this. Okay, so now that's done. We're gonna push, we're gonna now just save it. And that's done. All right, next step. Um, if you need more information, here's a link. That link provides you a guide on how to build this file. And uh, it's great, I recommend reading it. Um, and then create launch script. All right, so this is the next thing. Create a file named this. So basically, I mean like your, your game.sh. So we're gonna go back to our coding. We're gonna create a new file. We're gonna call it um, dodge the creeps dash v8 dot ish. And we're gonna save it in our folder here. Yep. All right. There, paste the in this template, customize. So we're gonna click on this template and it's gonna give us this, it's gonna send us to this full, uh, file. And you basically just copy this whole thing here. Because this is, this th is the script that tells uh, your machine what to do. Uh, it basically pulls up Portmaster and pulls in all of the information that your, your console needs to run um, the game. Now that you have that in there, we need to update a couple of things. We need to update this section. Um, so we need to update go.runtime. So the runtime is the, another um, thing of code that tells your device how to run it. And we need the go.4.3 runtime button. Let's see if all of this is in the same spot. Go dot right here it's all right here runtime is go dot 4.22 no it needs to be oh i need to change this to four no is it four i think it is four it is four okay so so this needs to be 0.4 this needs to be four uh yes um, your port, port folder is going to be your file. Uh, this right here needs to be the dodge. Oops. The name of your game. Dodge the creeps dash v8 and controls and paste so that this right here is the the different two files one of the two files we've made and then there's one other thing that I'm not seeing in there port folder where is that all right so we're gonna search for it command F V your port folder. Okay, so that's where um, we need to type in the dodge, the folder's name here. Dodge the creeps dash v8. There. All right, step six. Now, okay, now let's save this. We're going to save. On your SD card, place your folder in this section. So ports, my game. Okay, so this is where the folder goes. So in the ports. So we're gonna stick the entire folder in ports V8. And then from there, we're going to go new tab. We're gonna go into here and we're gonna move the sh, uh, yeah the sh, the sh fo this guy out of the folder and into this one right here that's what this is place your sh la launcher here in this one okay uh, 
and yep okay there we go and then we take it out okay so we're now in here we're gonna press X to refresh and our file should be in there did I put the wrong <laughs> my word it's not showing up so let's refresh or reboot okay so we've rebooted explore ports there it is there's eight you click on it it's gonna download all download all of those run times that the game needs to play and then it's gonna open up the game press start and we're good to go I mean, basically that's it thanks guys for watching and hopefully this helps you uh, import your games on your retro consoles.